Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Go Mango Toku Cast. I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have The Cinder Blaze and Strange Words. Guys, welcome back! And we are on our most consistent show, because man, we haven't been posting stuff. Ah! Anyway, we are on episode 20 of Q Ranger. And, I mean, on paper, this was definitely a solid episode. In execution, a little shaky. little shaky. What'd you guys think? Uh, okay. The latter part of, like, I don't know, the last fourth of the episode was good, but the first bits were just like, man, this is really dumb. Yeah. Can you can you elaborate? Okay, so first of all, we have the glorious uh, poisoning myself and trying to find a <laughs> uh, good old bone spear. While my brother, who has taken out multiple Q Rangers and defeated them pretty handily, mm. uh, I'm definitely going to be able to k defeat him with this ancient secret technique. Mm hmm. Definitely. Yeah, of, of suicide. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, and his brother already knows about it, so, like, there's not, like, a real <laughs> surprise there. He's like, oh, you're just doing that. Yeah, okay. yeah I know, and it, it didn't even phase him. We didn't. We didn't get any sort of lead into that that power, so we don't quite know how powerful it truly is, is it, especially in that battle. Like we pitted him against uh, Kotaro and Lucky, but you could make the argument that they're holding back since it's their friend. Well, so we, again, we don't, we can't really tell how strong that actually is. Also, against Kotaro and Lucky, he got double poisoned. Whoa. <laughs> well, uh, the second poison was just mind control, so that's probably why. Well, no, no, he you wasn't... can't be sure it's mind control because it made the black scars on his body also red. That signifies power up. I, uh, I don't know. Since we've been seeing like uh, Scorpio's poison be used to mind control everyone, that's kind of like what we're supposed to like assume it is, right? Because I... uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. The reason I say it's also power up because he also stabbed him in the heart, just like the technique was used. So, presumably, it was also to go like, "Oh, we're just gonna double up. It'll be great." Mm. Yeah, but you know what? Oh, okay. Right. Maybe, maybe that is. This is sort of set up to like, if if uh, toward the end of Stinger's brother's sort of life cycle or his his arc, we see him kind of freak out and have to, you know, whip out that technique. I, I would like you know, maybe to this it. is set up for that yeah it'd be nice to see that where it just goes oh i'm gonna use it and completely demolish him until something comes out <laughs> something I, comes out something <laughs> pops up that's like power up or just random new thing that will just will disappear after an episode mm. oh you know i i will defend um part of the first half of that episode because when naga stepped in and took the uh um took the stab for stinger that oh wait was it stinger or just like got stabbed i think he just got stabbed i, I don't yeah think i ever feel stabbed. like that was a pretty well constructed scene like that portion of it like you know you you have the whole thing of naga going down that was that was to me, it looked pretty brutal. And then on top of that, we had Stinger in the background just seeing it happen. And that is, it, it was exactly um, what he didn't want to happen. It's like leading him down more into despair. And to have him, you know, again, on paper, to have him come out of that uh, on top at, in the end. Like, come away from that, um, still trusting his friends, or his quote-unquote friends in the end. That's pretty nice to see. Yeah. Like, it, it gave a lot more meaning to it. Yeah, and kind of, like, confirmed, like, his beliefs. Like, I was like, oh, damn, like, I made the right, like, decision, kind of, because if everything went my way, you know, he wouldn't have been stabbed, and now, you know, everything's yeah, yeah. wrong because my friends are with me. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, it gets flipped later on in the episode where he's stronger because he has his friends with him. So, yeah, I really, yeah. really like that setup at the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. Naga getting injured, it looked really cool, 
it didn't really like lead up to uh any no, like, it didn't amount to much yeah by itself it, it, but it, mm-hmm. like but paired with you know stinger it it created a very nice like I don't know. It, it gave the story some nice momentum uh, toward the beginning. Yeah. Leading into the the end, which was great. Um, yeah. And that turning point um, for Stinger, I, I honestly, I feel like it would have been better had we had an episode um, kind of focused on Stinger and Champ uh together no, because we had like that one scene it's okay one scene they flash back to the one time that they had a a a, 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 a partnership like uh, and I, I i am saying this knowing that we did get somewhat of a focus episode on those two but it was really more focused on stinger and his brother so i wanted to see um not just uh the camaraderie between him and champ grow but even even with all the rest of the Q Rangers, I I never I didn't feel the connection between him and the Q Rangers. He says, you know, they're his friends or and all that junk, but we never see them being friends. We never saw them he like I, I feel like there needs to be that begrudging moment where he kind of rolls his eyes as at them, but then is still endeared to them. We never got that. We just got from the beginning of it to the end of it. Yeah, I mean that would be a bit too cliche, cliche for my it, taste. Cause, like it would, but at least it's something to hang on to. You know, there's something to be said for like even if it's basic, if it's done well, it it'll still hit emotionally. This it just skipped it. You know, I feel like there's something in there that could have been explored that wasn't. Oh yeah, I'm gonna touch one thing that kind of kind of kind of is a little bit annoying. Now you use some sort of you know paralysis power for what may have been oh. the first time ever. No, no, he's always had that power. When did he use it? All the time. Yeah, really? frequently. Yeah, I never saw that. Most I think pop times. Up. Are you kidding me? Maybe I've just been blind. Yeah. His his intro episode even had it. Like he did that pass around his eyes, and then like. The, the grunts were stunned. There was that, I think it occurred during um, the the Loch Ness Monster episode as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There, there were just a few times that it happened. Like, okay. I know it's happened, so it was still, you know. Okay. Yeah, but they never yeah. make it, like, the focal point of a fight. I mean, they probably did, like, early, mm-hmm. early on. But it's just there to kind of just, like, stun, kind of, like, transition the fight a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, I, I feel like because oh. I do not remember seeing it. Okay, well, but, I mean, yeah. we're letting you know it was set up. Okay, so just just making sure. Cause I'm just like, what if they just you know pulled out the power out of nowhere? Because I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Some powers are also forgotten very easily, like mm. you know, hammies being able to be invisible. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I feel like Q Ranger is strong when it remembers its own lore, when it remembers its own rules. When well, remember yeah. people can do things. Besides, you know, the basic I feel like that thing. just goes for any show ever. Like as long as you're playing by your own rules and like doing creative things within those parameters. Yeah, but it, they can only do that show. in given situations. And for this yeah. episode, they kind of had to push three of the Q Rangers like off fighting the Consumars, and yeah, yeah. yeah. we just got They're... stuck with like Lucky and the the little bear dude. Honestly, like, they had, again, there were some pretty good scenes on paper. Like, the one where they were walking through the crowd. I I really wished it hit a little harder. I don't know what it was about the scene for me. I think Perhaps maybe it was... It was... water bottles? <laughs> the empty water yeah. bottles? The, the, the empty water bottles surely did. <laughs> they surely did not hit hard. <laughs> um... But like it, it wasn't it wasn't like a a realistic mob. If they saw a Q Ranger, they would just straight up go and attack them. And on top of that, like the fact that they try the 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 mob listened to them at all. It's not a very good mob. Gives me pause. Yeah, it it wasn't that good of a moment. I 
feel like there could have been a better way to frame it or at least stage it, you know? Yeah, that was an oddly obedient crowd. Because, like, yeah, they find the weakest of then the two again. rangers and they're just like, oh, let's listen to this kid. It's like, no, grab the kid and get your reward. Then again, they are a pretty scared people, you know? Why would they be scared of that little kid? <laughs> he's a Q Ranger. He has a, he's he like, has oh, a okay. gun. I, I, I guess like the rest of the Q Rangers were behind him, so <laughs> he probably I didn't mean, want to like do something rash. So I don't know. I feel like they appeared out of their Toku pocket after he got like he started talking to them. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think that was like mainly it. That crowd just it didn't sell the scene, and then like. Yeah. Lucky's like trying to. He he has a scene where he's mm -hmm. pretending like <clears throat> they're kind of like facing a like a lot of hardship from the crowd. Hardship is like a terrible word, but like resilience and like hatred, and uh -huh. it's not there. <laughs> and like yeah, little that... kids are like, I'm ashamed to be an Earthling. It's like they're not really doing much. <laughs> exactly, they're you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like. I feel like the strongest part of this episode lied with Kotaro. Yeah, also uh, one of the weakest yeah. parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, like, um, the the reason why the scene um, in that episode where Pink gets her powers when Lucky says, uh, you know, what's the difference between you stopping her dream or, or like, uh, if they can't dream, they might as well be dead. Like, it, it's only a few lines, and, like, you know, it gets the point across, and it's it, it hits pretty hard. But in this scene, he makes multiple points and then keeps talking. He just keeps going. And it, it's not one, like, something to, to punch them in the emotional gut. Or get them to start rethinking things and then they just walk away. No, he keeps having to elaborate. So that we have this odd scene where they're just walking through a crowd that they could easily fly over with their their zords and just take the, the trash. No, they just had to just fly down there to interact with the crowd. Just so <sighs> it makes they the previous... Yeah, it makes, like, the whole, uh, the bounties on the Q Ranger's head, like, a relevant mm. thing. And Honestly? On... Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, that was, like, the weakest part of the episode. Honestly, I feel like we could just take that out. The only reason that you would need to have, um, uh, you know, the part where Stinger's brother is like, hey, if you, if you... Uh, find these people, kill them or something, or bring them to me, or tell them to leave or whatever. Um, that that that's just saying, hey, don't get on Earth. That's subtly telling them, hey, you can't be on Earth unless you want to endanger yourselves. Yeah. Okay. Now that you mention Scorpio, I think that was more of him being kind of twisted, more mm -hmm. than like the bounty actually meaning like something for the earth people just him just you know issuing that threat to them wait was it a bounty i forgot what it was it's not like a money bounty but like uh for their freedom and stuff mm. well i feel like it was kind of like it incentivized the people of earth to not only turn on the q rangers but kind of hinder them in a way because they they might get in the way of the q rangers being able to save excuse me the earth right yeah and also it kind of makes like the q rangers kind of question what they're fighting for because like the people who they're trying to save are against them so mm -hmm. it just kind of brings that up the, see but... like that was that was a part of that scene um and that's why i liked the the uh kind of tick where uh kotaro kind of got sad that his people were reacting this way and unlike you guys i kind of liked it i just wish that it was done a little better i don't know i kind of hate that kid i've really? seen a scene I, I, and like yeah 
he he overacts because he's a talented child actor and he has to show it every time <laughs> he's in a damn scene. I'm just like, dude, we have like eight other Q Rangers that want character development. Can you stop starting? Dude, I, honestly, I feel like he does. <laughs> he deserves some it. Pre- he, he's good. He has some pretty subtle moments, man. Like, okay, I mean, anytime he's just staring at Champ or just you know, just trying, just being somber. Uh, over over Skype <laughs> with the Q Rangers, um, that Stinger isn't doing well. I feel like he at least can hold his own with the caliber of actors they have there. I know he's better than most of them. That's that's my <laughs> problem with him. Really, I feel like the uh, the only weak actor, well, maybe <laughs> two, is uh, Lucky and um, oh man. Stinger is, was pretty shaky this no, episode. No, 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 Stinger is something else. I I like that dude. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, and I'll be okay really? with it. Honestly. I, he does good crying. He doesn't <laughs> do well when he's, like, angry. I don't... I don't... It, just the sounds that he makes. Incredible sounds. <laughs> Give me pause. <laughs> Yo, when he was, like, <laughs> make those dinosaur noises. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that was a, that was uh awkward, but it gave Kotaro mm-hmm. like his big shining moment where you know he's like You know what? I I will I will take that back. This was just like his weakest sort of performance when he was being mind controlled. Outside of that, he's been pretty good. Yeah, but like yeah. Kotaro, holy shit. <laughs> that was I I, I like that scene. To be honest, I did too. I did too. Despite how much shit I gave him, just <laughs> his backstory and his resolve is so much more, uh, like not only like fleshed out, but it's just straight up better than a lot of the other characters we have here. Like we don't get much from Hammy, and even when they try to give her stuff, it's like, oh hey, I had the courage to talk once and that's my backstory and then yellow is just like hey man i cook catchphrase grazie yo hammy's backstory was hilariously bad yeah what was it again because i honestly forgot okay it okay. was I, hey I got little this. i got this i got oh, this. go All ahead right. go ahead so they're on the planet right you're in uh-huh, uh-huh. and then the aliens invade and then she goes to her dad hey the aliens are invading Boom, bam, that's a backstory. <laughs> How does she become a Q-Rage? <laughs> no, it's called Courage, man. <laughs> okay, what? Well, it's like, usually she doesn't say shit, but she's like, hey, Dad, there's some aliens on her planet. <laughs> okay, I think we should get back on this episode. Okay. Okay, I mean, like, I feel like we've talked about just about mm. everything. All right, from this episode. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like Zord fight was speak... completely useless. Yeah, the what? Zord fight. Oh Zord, yeah, Zord fight happened because Bandai's like, hey, uh, we need to sell toys, so I have a Zord fight every episode. Hey, I was fine with that That's Zord it. fight. It was not great. Oh, I, like I remember what I want to touch on. Uh, why? Oh yeah, touch it. it why hasn't Earth exploded yet? Because they've been fine for a long time. Yeah. You, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's the source of the Q Ranger powers. Maybe it's the source of some sort of power. I don't know. Some something's in there. It, Earth is special. Okay. They they keep saying that. Okay. Like there wouldn't be so many they they said there wouldn't be so many consumars here if it wasn't special. Okay. And I guess, I suppose Earth has some sort of resilience to it that allows them to survive that long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll take an excuse, but I won't lie. Um, and, like, also, I, I don't know, for those of you who watched past the credits, uh, like, if you haven't seen it and you don't want to get spoiled for next episode, because, you know, Toku always does that, and I, I understand not wanting to watch you know after the credits because there are spoilers 
uh leave now shows over for you but um so three two one we are getting the phoenix uh q ranger yeah it looks like magic red except a bit more (laughs) bulky like a a combination of magic red uh and and the swap mode it's like magic red in swap mode and then he has uh his dad's sword and shield yeah i see that yeah yeah that's pretty dope or actually i don't know for a magi ranger but for mystic forces it was his dad yeah it's it's i like it i like it a lot it's different it has this really uh i don't know swap mode sort of feel it not necessarily more industrial just more no i don't know man i like it yeah and who is he like do we know because he might be the argos thing that i i don't know i I just especially uh speculating on yeah i mean i don't know if this is giving away too much but i've seen the actor and that's that's all i know like i've seen the dude's face all right i I yeah i think that's all there is to that okay yeah no it is i have seen his face (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> no like it, it just saying like it's not someone we've seen before oh uh, yeah um yeah uh, i think that's about it mm-hmm. for this episode we have talked just as long as the episode has gone for mm-hmm. i was about to mention yeah. that yeah yeah okay anyways guys uh again i think that's just about it if you like this video hit that like button if you want to talk to us about what you thought of uh key ranger this week um, and maybe ways to improve the episode. Why don't you tell us in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to hear more from us each week. And in the description down below are all the links to our social medias for the Go Manga Network. And our uh, individuals, except for Jordan, because he's a poop. And also, there is a Discord chat link down in the description below. So hit that and we will talk Q-Ranger. Excellent. Uh, my hero academia, any other thing that comes to mind. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. See ya. Exit's dope.